The Red River Jeep Club is a friendly, family-oriented group organizing off-road, open-run trips and overnight camping weekends, exploring some of the most beautiful terrain Manitoba has to offer. For the Red River Jeep Club, they've been here now, uh, we've been hosting for about a couple years now here at Jefferies. It's the first Wednesday of every month that they meet. Uh, we can see anywhere between 40 to 60, 70, depending on, on the good night and families and they bring their kids. Uh, it's a lot of fun. The Jeeps are awesome. Love it. It's great. How did the Jeep Club come to Jefferies? Well, I, I knew one of the members from, from before in previous work and uh, he brought his family here for dinner. They really enjoyed the dinner. They, oh, the food was awesome. Uh, so he asked me to set up a meeting with, for them and accommodate them on the first Wednesday of every month. And uh, he just loved the food. He wanted to present it to their club. They've been coming ever since. This Jeep here is a 1985 CJ7. Um, I've basically bought it with a blown engine and no tires back in 2005. Um, I've done a whole bunch of restoration to it. I've stripped it right down to the bare frame, built it up from there. Uh, I got a big engine in there, a 3D3 stroker, puts out about 375 horsepower, a little over 400 foot-pounds of torque, and uh, lots of other goodies. The locker's front and back, I've got 35-inch tires, 8,000-pound uh, winch, uh, <laughs> lots of stuff. The body on this thing is mostly all fiberglass, so it'll never rust, you know, so that's good. I've always wanted a Jeep all my life, kind of, and I finally found one, but uh, it was a project when I bought it. And uh, over the course of building my Jeep, I learned about the Jeep Club, and I went to a meeting uh, halfway through the build and decided that I'll just wait until my Jeep was finished because I kept hearing about all these nice runs these guys are going on and all the meetings and everything else, and I couldn't really participate in them without a Jeep, so <laughs> I waited until my Jeep was finished, and then I joined up, and uh, it's been great ever since, actually. Ah, it's just a camaraderie thing, you know, hanging out with lots of people, meeting lots of people, uh, learning about their vehicles, um, uh, all that stuff. It's, it's a, lot, a lot of fun, you know. I work for a local Jeep shop and uh, pretty much my off time, as soon as I'm done work, I'm at my place working on mine or a friend's place or it never ends. Basically, it's 8 in the morning till midnight I'm working on Jeeps. And then you're coming out to the Jeep Club at night time. Well, yeah, I got to socialize at some point. <laughs> For this one, it's it's very basic front and rear bumpers, aftermarket tires, and uh, two inch budget boost. It's it's really more of a civilized build, so my wife can drive it every day and not run into issues with being over height or over legal or you know. I've been a member of Red River Jeep Club for three years now, and the reason why I come out is just for friendship and to enjoy the company of other Jeepers. So I sponsor. A charity event every year it's called drop your top for breast cancer it's usually held in july and we usually try to pick a nice warm hot sunny day so that all the tops are down on the jeeps so i was in world of wheels for one of the other four x four clubs it's called core four x four and we did a zombie response display for world of wheels the color of the jeep is mango tango pearl coat and I just figured that would be a good suiting plate for it. This is my Jeep. Her name is Jackie. Uh, it was the thing to name your vehicle. Some of the stuff that we do, there's a lot of different events. We go out and do breast cancer fundraisers. We do uh, fundraisers for MS. We went down to Minnesota and partaked in a thing down there with River Wranglers. We also looked at the local community and with the cold snap that we had, we ended up collecting a bunch of uh, men's clothing and different type of essential needs. We did a group donation to the Silo Mission. Uh, that was when it was a minus 55 outside. It was pretty crazy. And they had a lot of stuff they're looking for. So we, we, we grouped together and came up with a lot of stuff and delivered that. And that's just a dusting of the surface. There's so much that we do. That's, and it's kind of neat because you roll up and it's always a statement. It's easy to find someone in a Jeep club and start going with that camaraderie or they have like a different thing to do so it takes your mind off what you're doing. You go out, no problems there, everyone. It's like another family. It's like an external thing. It's always fun. It's something to do. Uh, you get outside, you know, you get kids coming with you. They're not playing video games. They're learning about quick fixes, how to do, change a flat tire, how to change this, what's up with the engine, that type of stuff. So you get them tinkering and it's a different, I miss all that from my childhood. So it's awesome. They pride themselves in observing tread lightly principles so that Manitoba will remain a 4x4 friendly province. I mean, living where we live, being an avid outdoorsman myself, it really is, you know, the right vehicle. Um, I like to look at it as, as the ultimate outdoors vehicle. Uh, 
the unlimited four door having a, a family of four is a, it accommodates all of the children. Um, I like to think of it as a street legal UTV. So you take it out on the hunting trails, get it out of four wheel drive back in the highway, you're good to go. There's no vehicle to trailer, and let's face it, you know, summer days, top off, doors off. It's a, it's a great vehicle just to cruise around in the city. The Palomino parking lot here is our standby spot where we typically hang out every Sundays, but often at times we'll, we'll run a convoy from Caldonan Park to Assiniboine Park. You know, this Jeep lifestyle really is a way of life. Uh, it's a great community, it's a family, you know, it's a small knit group of people, of individuals, of uh, all walks of life. We're an eclectic bunch, you know, I like to say we're uh, a merry band of misfits and uh, welcome to all Jeepers and off-road enthusiasts. For more information, visit RedRiverJeepClub.com.